Hello everyone, it's DA here sharing some analysis as well as what is important or everything important that you need to know about the upcoming Star Wars game, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. So the first thing is going to be that this is going to be a single player game. Number two, there will be no microtransactions. Good news, that is a very big news. Coming from EA, that is great news. Number three, the story will have a lot of depth. Respawn has confirmed it. They're the ones developing it, which leads to number four. It's being made by Respawn, and that is one of the fan favorites when it comes to developers in the industry. In addition to all this, there will be a lot of character progression, customizations, and of course, in other words, if you've ever played any of the Star Wars Force Unleashed games, this is going to be more like a spiritual successor to that game, but this is going to be also a lot bigger, and I think it's going to have a lot more RPG and a little bit of an open world feel to it. So that is the kind of vibe that I'm getting from this one. And of course, this is a brand new arc and new character, and it will follow a Jedi Padawan who escaped during Order 66. So this is going to be a story about his journey, how he went from Coruscant, you know, to different regions, working underground, working in the underbelly of the city and all that kind of stuff. That is what we will be going through in this story. By the looks of it, he had been taught to hide in plain sight, learn not to use his powers or risk revealing himself as a Jedi. This is also going to be a lightsaber comeback game. You will be fighting stormtroopers, but most important of all, you will be fighting Sith Inquisitors as well. And I will not be surprised at the end of the game if you get to fight Darth Vader himself. From what we know about the background of this game, there might be a stealth mechanic in place because there's a possibility that we may end up going on certain missions while we are on Coruscant, but definitely there will be several force powers and abilities that you will be able to unlock and modify as you progress through the game. Being that this is a game made by Respawn, it's likely going to have that Spider-Man feel at times. I don't know about you guys, I don't know if you saw it, but we were able to see certain scenes where wall running was revealed in this trailer. So there is going to be wall running and that is quite interesting considering that it is Respawn, they just can't go into a game without having wall running and that is really fun. For starters, they already let us know that there will be a gameplay trailer very soon. And this is looking like the year that EA is trying to turn things around. And I'm liking the single player approach because of course, EA were the same companies that say single player is dead. So seeing EA coming back to do this, it is quite interesting. Also, let me know what you guys think about this. And if you would like to see me cover some lore about Star Wars in general or about Star Wars in regards to this game. Thanks for watching. Hope you find this informative. It's DS signing out. I'll see you in the next one.